It's not Thursday, but here I am. Okay, me and Haley switch days. Like, switch days, not just for the week. I mean, like, switched. Like, I'm Tuesday and she's Thursday now because her Tuesdays are really hectic and my Thursdays are really hectic and we just have more time to do it this way. So, welcome to Tuesday. I'm Cassie. In case any of you were wondering, this is the high school that I went to. I can tell you that because I don't go to that high school anymore. Today we're discussing our childhood and whether or not we were gay children. My answer to this question is both yes and no. On one hand, my family was very conservative and very religious and I was always told that it was like a choice to be gay and that it was like a bad thing. So I wasn't one of those kids who would like date the neighbor girl or um, make out with my my size Barbie, Jackie. I didn't do anything like that. But I did do other things, which, looking back, super gay. I had a really big crush on Avril Lavigne. I didn't know that at the time. I just thought she was really cool and really awesome and really pretty. Like, really pretty. I had, like, a poster of her in my room, and I really liked her, and I, like, really wanted to meet her. That's creepy. I... It's definitely creepy, but I really wanted to meet her. I used to come up with schemes in my brain of ways that I would get to meet Avril Lavigne. Like, that's how creepy it was. I remember my mom told me once, she was like, Cassie, why with the Avril Lavigne? You're, a, you're an almost teenage girl. I mean, you should like boys. You should, you should have posters of boy bands and not Avril Lavigne. What? Why? I mean, now Avril Lavigne is kind of not cool, but just so you all know, um, I really liked Avril Lavigne. And I still kind of like her, even though she's not cool. I also apparently, um, I used to do bad things to my Ken dolls. I don't mean bad things like dirty things. I mean bad things like... <sighs> The Ken doll, I only had like one Ken doll. He was always evil and the Barbies were always good. Ken doll was always the bad guy for one. Um, that was partially because he was the only Ken doll I had and you know the bad guy's gotta be a guy so my mom has told me that once she came into my room and I was playing Barbies and the Ken doll was like he had his mouth gagged and his hands were like tied behind his head and he was like tied to um, my bedpost because apparently I was punishing him for doing something bad. That I really think is funny more than just gay because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a man hater obviously, I mean my best friend is a dude. I love you Jeff but I just did not like Ken. I would very much like to show you baby pictures, however I don't have any baby pictures. I don't have any of them scanned to where I have access to them and they're all, my mom has them all. Um, so they're back home. Um, I was a really cute baby though. The next time I get anywhere near my baby pictures I will show you them. And I'll be like, hey remember that one time when I didn't show you guys baby pictures? Here they are. Okay. Age, race, religion, does it affect who we are attracted to? Race, kind of, not in that like I'm only attracted to people of my own race, but that I'm attracted to some races more than others. Like Indian girls, like Middle Eastern girls are like, oh my god, so hot, so hot. I have this super weird thing where I am just attracted to like almost every Indian girl I see. They're just so attractive. Age, kind of, um, to, to an extent definitely, like, um, I, I, I would say that I have, like, I don't find people attractive if they're that much older than me, like, probably more than five years older than me, um, I normally wouldn't consider dating them and I probably wouldn't be attracted to them, but uh, I recently have found someone who is significantly older than me, who I am 
significantly attracted to, and so I can't really say that. But as a general rule, um, I, I'm attracted to girls that I could have gone to high school with, basically. Religion doesn't um, affect it. I mean, I probably want to steer away from people with super religious families who don't accept the gay thing. Um, and someone who... I would probably have a difficult time dating someone who was really religious. I, I don't know, I just feel like I'd, I disagree with them a lot. Um, also, I probably wouldn't date someone who sacrificed animals for the same reason that I'm a vegetarian. What can you do? All of these things, they're not really what affects who I'm attracted to, more of just generally, I like in the past, I have been attracted to people who fit into whatever I talked about. Um, but really, I have been attracted to so many different kinds and types of girls. I it's hard for me to pinpoint like what I even find attractive because I find some things attractive in other people and not attractive in other people and I I don't know I don't know guys PS over the weekend I said that if I got 500 subscribers I would straighten my hair and I had a huge wave of people from here and old queers go subscribe to me um and now I have 10 left 10 left until I hit 500, so just 10 more. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. P.S. Baby Beeves, sorry for advertising that. I just really want to get those last 10. That'd be awesome.